This is a demonstration of Spotlight, an innovative solution that enables libraries and other cultural heritage institutions to highlight their digital collections and build online exhibits from content in their repositories. Spotlight is a plugin for Blacklight, which is a popular open source solution for building library discovery environments. Spotlight provides a self-service, forms-based user interface that allows exhibit builders, such as librarians or faculty, to customize the search interface and homepage and to build media-rich feature pages to better contextualize the collection. This is a demonstration from the exhibit builder's point of view of how to create a new and highly customized site once an index has been associated with a default Spotlight installation. Once I am logged into the system in the role of curator, I can start customizing my site at the dashboard. On the settings page, I can add a title and subtitle to my exhibit that propagates to the masthead, as well as an email address that serves as the destination for any feedback submitted through the site's feedback form. On the appearance page, I can customize the names of top level menu items. For example, I can rename curated features to themes. I can also change available display behaviors for search results pages. Spotlight has the ability to export all customized content as a JSON object. This allows me to save backups of my work in progress or reuse a completed exhibit as the basis for a new exhibit. This is also one way to save curator-created content about a collection in your repository. The rich customization features are found in the curation section of the dashboard. The items page gives me a list of all items available in the index and even allows me to hide specific items from the public site if, for example, their metadata is incomplete or the object's rights restrict user access. The metadata page allows me to customize the label and order of metadata fields in all of my results and record views. For example, I might change the label personal name to cartographer and elevate it in the order of fields. I can also elevate the geographic subject field. I can also create exhibit specific fields or custom metadata fields that allow the curator to enhance individual records. I'll create a curator's note field so I can add my own custom commentary. To show you how this works, I'll go to the item list and edit a record. Notice my new curator's note field appears And once I populate it and save, it is now added to the record. I can also customize the facets that allow me to drill down into search results in much the same way as we did with the metadata fields. The Browse feature allows curators to offer annotated saved searches. For example, I might want to give my users easy access to the subset of the collection known as the Oscar Norwich subcollection. To do this, I'll first find all items in the Norwich collection, then save it as a saved search. Back at the Browse Configuration page, I can enable Browse Categories for viewing and add some description to further contextualize the set.
Now for arguably the most powerful feature of Spotlight, that is the ability for the curator to create a highly customized homepage, as well as feature and about pages. Spotlight uses an extensible widget framework that allows the exhibit builder to add formatted text and other media types to a page. It also includes customized widgets that allow the exhibit builder to display and feature specific items from the repository on these customized pages. The technology used to build each of these page types is the same, so in the interest of time I'll only customize the home page. At the home page, when I click the edit button, I am presented with a default edit screen. When I click this plus, I'm offered a variety of widgets allowing me to add different types of content to my page. I can add a simple heading. Or a simple block of text. The widget supports Markdown, but also includes some simple formatting tools. We have customized some widgets to interact directly with the content from our repository. For example, we can create a text block alongside a specific image from the collection. Using Type Ahead, I can search for the item and then I can add my text. I can determine whether or not it's situated to the left or the right, and I can choose a caption from any one of my available metadata fields. We can also create a grid of selected items. Again, notice Type Ahead searches my index and displays a thumbnail image, and I can choose a variety of images for my grid. When I click Save, I have a highly customized home page. At the dashboard, I can create and order additional feature pages for future editing. I can do the same for About Pages. Again, the tools used to build these pages is the same as what was shown for the home page. So as you can see, Spotlight makes it simple for a curator to build and customize a feature and content-rich site.